Welcome to Storytime, everybody. Today, we're going to be reading What the Ladybird Heard at the Seaside. The author of this story is Julia Donaldson, and the illustrator is Lydia Monks. Can you think of any other stories that Julia Donaldson has written? Excellent. Well done. There's lots to think of. OK, let's begin reading the story. What the Ladybird Heard at the Seaside. One July, when the sun was high, the ladybird took to the clear blue sky. She spread her wings in the summer breeze and flew over farms and fields and trees. She flew and she flew as fast as could be, till at last she came to the deep salt sea. And the sea lion roared and the seagull shrieked, the mermaid sang and the dolphin squeaked. The crab went snap and the shark went gnash. The whale's grey tail made a mighty splash. The dogfish barked and the catfish purred. But the ladybird said never a word. Can you gnash your teeth like a shark? Well done. So the ladybird said never a word. But the ladybird saw and the ladybird heard. She saw two men in a camper van with swimming trunks and a cunning plan. They were Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len, up to their wicked ways again. Do you remember in the first story of What the Ladybird Heard, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len tried to steal the fine prize cow? I wonder what antics they're up to this time. Said Lanky Len to Hefty Hugh, I tell you what we're going to do. We'll lie and wait till it's twelve o'clock. Then out we'll swim to the mermaid's rock. The mermaid's hair is very long. She combs it while she sings her song. But when it's night and she's fast asleep, then tiptoe onto her rock we'll creep. And snip, 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 we'll cut that hair so very long and very fair. Oh, what naughty men they are. Said Hefty Hugh to Lanky Len, We'll make a lovely wig, and then we'll sell it to a famous star. What brilliant brainy blokes we are. The mermaid's hair will soon grow back, enough to fill another sack. We'll keep on doing it forever. We've hit on something really clever. Oh. There's an exclamation sentence on this page. Can you find it? Well done. What brilliant brainy blokes we are. Fantastic looking, everyone. The little spotty ladybird, who hardly ever spoke a word, told the animals what she'd heard. Then the sea lion roared and the seagull shrieked, the mermaid wailed and the dolphin squeaked, the crab went snap and the shark went gnash, the whale's grey tail made a mighty splash, and the fish declared, That wicked pair, we can't let them steal the mermaid's hair. But the ladybird had a good idea. And she whispered it into every ear. Then the seagull gave a joyful shriek and he fetched some seaweed in his beak. And as the sky was turning red, he dropped it onto the sea lion's head. Oh, the sky was turning red. Just before night time, the sky begins to turn red. That's because the sun is starting to set. Do you know what that time of day is called? It's called dusk. Well done if you got that. Then as the sky was turning black, the sea lion climbed on the whale's humped back. The clock struck twelve and the two bad men, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len, flip-flapped down to the salty sea. It was cold and dark, but they laughed, hee hee hee, with glee. Then the whale began to sing a song. That's her, said Hugh. 
We can't go wrong. They swam towards the tuneful sound. She's still awake, said Len and frowned. The singing stopped. They took a peep, said Hugh. I think she's gone to sleep. Up they climbed with their big brown sack onto the whale's enormous back. And snip, 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 they started snipping. This hair, said Hugh, it's damp and dripping. What's more, said Len, it's awfully tough. Our scissors can't be sharp enough. Then, help, cried Hugh. This rock is heaving. I think we'd better both be leaving. But Len replied, just one more snip. Then the whale's grey tail gave a great big flip. The thieves fell into the water. Splosh! And Hugh said, golly! And Len said, gosh! Then, ouch! cried Hugh and Len yelled, no! As the shark bit a flipper and the crab pinched a toe. They swam for their lives and then they ran all the way back to their camper van. Phew, said Hugh. We've had a scare, but at least we've got the mermaid's hair. They opened up the sack and then... It's full of seaweed, shouted Len. And tripped again, said the two bad men. Then the sea lion roared and the seagull shrieked, the mermaid sang and the dolphin squeaked, the crab went snap and the shark went gnash, the whale's grey tail made a mighty splash, the dogfish barked and the catfish purred, but the ladybird said never a word. What a fantastic story that is. Perhaps you can think about your favourite part and you could tell somebody else about it. Thank you for listening. Bye.